Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on March the 9th, 2021. GameStop surges 40% along with other rated stocks. GameStop shares surged more than 40% on Monday along with shares of other so-called meme stocks held by news from the video game retailer and expectations that investors might invest on the stock market from upcoming stimulus checks. The company's GME shares last traded up 41.2% at $194.50, the highest closing level since February the 1st, after GameStop brought in Chewy shareholder and co-founder Ryan Cohen to lead a new committee to help the video game retailer transition to e-commerce. The company's stock was up 53% at the high end of the session. Other stocks favored by retail investors on forums such as Reddit's Wall Street Bets also rallied. Some market watchers cited the U.S. Senate's passage of a $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, including $1,400 in direct payments. Tesla losses billions in a month on falling tech. Shares of Tesla in closed down for the fifth straight session Monday, hit by tech stocks that have wiped more than $277 billion off the market in the past month. High-tech stocks, which provided the market's recovery from pandemic loss last March, suffered a hit in the form of rising yields, and investors shifted funds to sectors poised to benefit from the global economic recovery. The tech-heavy Nasdaq index is down more than 10.5% in the past three weeks. Shares of Tesla fell 6.5% on Monday, while peers NIO in and Lee Auto closed down 7.6% and 5% respectively. The pressure on the auto industry as a whole has been exerted by a global shortage of semiconductor chips, which has caused a major delay in production activity and forced many companies to cut production. Stock markets rebound on strengthening U.S. futures. Asian stocks rebounded from earlier losses Tuesday lifted by firmer U.S. stock futures and central bank comments that calm concerns about rising bond yields and inflation. The drop in U.S. bond yields also boosted stock markets. Japan's Nikkei was up 1.02 percent Tuesday afternoon, while the broadest index of Asia-Pacific stock outside Japan, the MSCI, was higher by 0.10 percent. The People's Bank of China said the country's money supply will only grow in line with GDP growth, and the central bank sees no need for a significant stimulus support in the next five years. Nasdaq futures jumped 1.1 percent and the S&P 500 stocks rose 0.7 percent. European futures were slightly lower. On Wall Street on Monday, the Dow advanced, while the Nasdaq shifted over 2 percent, marking a more than 10 percent drop from its closing high on February the 12th and confirming the index's correction in value. The tech sector and other high-value companies are highly affected by the rise in rates. Japan lowers its estimate of economic growth in fourth quarter. Japan's economy grew at a slower pace in October and December than originally reported, with firms cutting spending on equipment as the coronavirus pandemic clouded their business plans. The slowdown was mainly due to sharper declines in private inventories and less-than-expected growth in capital spending in the fourth quarter, even as exports remained steady. Separate data show that household spending fell much more sharply in January than in the previous month, suggesting that the COVID-19 pandemic is forcing consumers to be cautious when making purchases. The economy grew at an annualized rate of 11.7 percent between October and December. The reading, which was weaker than economists' median growth forecast of 12.8 percent, leads to real growth of 2.8 percent for the October-December quarter, compared with preliminary growth of 3 percent.